with funeral arrangements still pending. WVTM 13's Jeff Eliasoff is at Birmingham's North Precinct where the sergeant last reported for duty. Jeff. The cold gray day outside here really matches the mood inside the North Precinct where Carter, known to his friends as YT, answered roll call since his promotion to sergeant. Colleagues on the force say he was often the first man in and the last man out during his daily shift. A true professional who always put people first and himself second. In Fairfield, he worked as both a detective and a SWAT officer, proud of being a first responder, knowing that using a weapon was a last resort. At Birmingham City Hall, the American flag flies at half staff in Carter's honor as ordered by Mayor Randall Woodfin. At all city buildings, of course, Governor Kay Ivey just announcing a mandatory flag uh, dropping as well. Here at the North Precinct, memorial ribbons are posted on the flagpole and a wreath adorns the front door that Sergeant Carter will never walk through again. Inside, just a few minutes ago, they said prayers at four o'clock roll call and people have been coming by from time to time to say thank you. Now, officers tell me they are most appreciative of the restaurants which have been bringing food so that the men and women at the Birmingham Police Force can eat together and grieve together tonight. Sergeant Carter's friends and colleagues mourning privately even as they prepare to publicly go out and face danger every day and every night. We are live at the police North Precinct in Birmingham. Jeff Eliasoff, WVTM 13.